everyone, welcome to Ego Tarot. This is Kinsley, the Ego Tarotist. This message is for Taurus today, and I like I just wanted to try something different. And at first, it started off because I didn't want to wear makeup and get ready for you guys, and I'm tired of looking at my face on the screen. But also, I realized how many cool um, fossils that I have, and some people are really into crystals. Well, I'm into um, mammoth teeth and the, <laughs> this is the root of uh, a mastodon. Anyways, so I am going to do a couple of cards for you for Taurus. And we're using the Spirit Animal Oracle deck, which I love. And yeah, are doing well. Oh, that's, that just did not. I'm not the best shuffler. That's why I always tried to do the shuffling off camera. But now that you don't see my face, it's not that big a deal. I just love this. For Taurus. Porcupine spirits. All right. Oh, koalas on the bottom. <laughs> By the way, I totally, I have an Instagram account called at Eco Tarotist, and I totally went to do one on the koala, and <laughs> I, saw one of the, I saw something that said, I love you, Calyptus. <laughs> so funny. Anyways, okay, let's... <laughs> to your reading. I love you, Calyptus. Um, this is the Naked Heart Tarot deck, and let's, we're going to start to build up a beautiful story for Taurus, only with the highest intent for positivity. Good for Taurus, and let's go. Bee spirit. Bees are to me. I mean, all animals are sacred, but bees are absolutely holy and sacred. They are oh, what, not only do they are, are pollinators at stake, and no one's really realizing it. I mean, not everyone's realizing it, but um, just the community involved in, in them is just incredible and then the way they fly where it's back and forth instead of up and down and no one could figure out how they flew and they thought they were a phenomenon and the bee was like that's you guys I'm gonna <laughs> do it my own way oh my god okay Woo! Ooh, that's that's intense ace of wands is up of the deck. Okay, so let's clarify with my little tiny, teeny tiny Lenormand deck that I drew. And it's completely connected to me now. I think everyone should try to draw their own deck. It really connects people um, to these cards and these energies. Okay, we're getting some heavy, heavy, heavy cards, heavy, heavy situ situation. Let's see what's going on here. One more shuffle and then I'm gonna finish out. Okay, wow, that's pretty crazy. Wow, okay, oh my God. Clouds are at the bottom, um, animus, oh my god, clouds, anima, and animus. Um, so this could be a divine counterpart. Um, all right, so let's get these um, going. So I don't know if you saw this. So for the B spirit, you get the two of swords and the three of wands, um, clarified by the star and the ship. And for the porcupine spirit, you get the 
three of swords and the five of pentacles, uh, coupled with the cross and the fish. Lots of heavy energy. Lots of heavy energy. Okay, so I'd like to clarify with two cards each of the Trolley Tarot. Um, I'm sure I'm butchering that name, but I love these little these little guys. Um, so two of swords within the star. This is a heavy reading, guys. Taurus, what's going on with you guys this month? Come out of your own groundedness and into Gemini season. Might be giving you a hard time. Two of Pentacles. Shift and Three of Wands. Oh, Empress and... by the death card <laughs> what is going on here and the four of wands oh five of pentacles and the oh man and the fish are clarified by the eight of swords <laughs> oh and the page of Chariot at the bottom. Um, and then Queen of Swords at the bottom. Okay. <laughs> I love you, Calyptus. Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe that's what this reading is all about. Someone making you think that they love you when they're like, I love you, Calyptus. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you at all. That is very interesting. So, the B spirit clarified by the two of swords and the three of wands. You see these, so usually for the three, the two of wands is the asking and the three of wands is coming in. And then the um, Rider weight deck, it's, it's waiting for your ship to come in. So that is really fascinating. It's, it's this receiving kind of energy. It's this, um, and it's absolutely about waiting for your, what you've asked for to come in. Um, and this is traveling, exploration, um, and um, departures. And, oh, I mean, it could absolutely be, I mean, to me, this is just crazy that this is, card is typically waiting for your ship to come in. And there's, it's clarified by the ship. But, um, so you're waiting for something to, something to depart. You could be um, uh, waiting for travel to happen. And it's clarified by the Empress and the Knight of Cups. And, um, wow. and then you've got this Two of Swords, this indecision, this blinded by um, your, your, your mind and your thoughts and not understanding what's going on here. And it's clarified by the star, which is hope, optimism, spirituality, dreams, um, progress to goals. And clarified further by the seven of swords and the two of pentacles. Lots of twos. Um, and it's weird. You can see they both are crisscrossed right here. Um, except one is anchored in thoughts and the other is um, supported by inspiration. And, and happiness and that's um, and for, to further clarify this this whole two um, and, and, and balancing um, you something happened where there was this seven of swords energy where it was this deceit it could be walking away it could be self-deception it could be someone else deceives you um, to me, I when it's when you see a lot of what's in the mind, um, I, I 
I think it's self-deception. Um, and right over here, I can see why. So we'll get into that. So I think there's this, this concept of self-deception and of, of un uncertainty and um, Im imbalance and um, kind of a stalemate in, in, in what you really want, what you really want out of life. Um, and what you really want out of life is love coming in and it's your empress, okay? Your empress is the person that is a very nurturing, caring person um, and you're waiting for them to come to you. Oh, yeah, okay. You're waiting for them to come to you and um, but when you're in this stalemate energy, you are... Um, <laughs> you're, you're stuck. You cannot do anything about your wish fulfillment um, because you're stuck on maybe you're stuck on this this deceit of, uh, or what's ever happened to you in the past. Uh, you know, bees are um, they make this honey, but there's so much work involved in making this honey, and I almost like honey is so holy to me because. It has so many healing properties, but it's also, it's took so much effort for us, for, for them to make. And then we just take it. We just take it and eat it like it's no big deal. And you have no idea how hard this group of, of, of entities has worked. And if you can see what is on here, what is that? I can't even tell. Is that a... Um, rolling of the dice is that a dice is that a five that's interesting well I, interesting. I can't even, yeah okay sorry i was trying to figure out what that hypothesis is i don't know who that is supposed to be maybe it's just amazon um but i think i think the lesson here is um, feeling taken advantage of the self-deception. Interesting. I'm not, I would never have thought of, you know, sweet results await. Sure. Yeah. I'll wait for you to take it without appreciation. Or maybe that's what this is. Excuse me. Uh, maybe that's what this is. Is there's not appreciation for the stink of bees. Um, not enough at least clearly we're killing them off. Um, but I definitely see it's like, you want something, you want this Empress and the, and for love to come riding in, you want love to come, you know, coming up to your door, traveling to your doorstep and knocking on your door. You want that so badly, yet you're stuck in, in what I think, um, stuck in hard work, stuck in, um, in your perception of yourself. Um, and so this is why you're stuck. Okay. So you have a lot of healthy energy, unhealthy energy here. First of all, the porcupine spirit, time for a beginner mind. I don't see that with the porcupine spirit. I see protection. I see you keeping everything at a distance at, at a quill's length. <laughs> you are absolutely protecting yourself um, out of fear, out of um, fear of heartbreak, um, that it's, that, um, that there's, there's burdens associated with you know, it's hard when you're dating and you, it's hard to keep your heart open. It's easier to keep it closed because when time and time again, when you keep it open, it's, um, it just gets shat on and stepped on all over again. And you're just like, what's the stinking point? Look at that death of, of this four one celebration and, um, what could be the 1111 card, like death of the concept of, of marriage and, and a healthy relationship and, um, and celebrations and, 
and and so death <laughs> and endings and suffering this is suffering associated with heartbreak of heartbreak and you think of it as a burden and so you, you this whole concept of of marriage is is dying inside of you so there's this this love you're you've hold, you've held yourself at a quill's length um, because you don't want to get hurt anymore and then to complement that you are absolutely five of Pentacles and the fish is all about I mean you could think Pentacles is about money um, but it's really material things. But absolutely, I see it as money in the context of the fish from the Lenormand, which is finances, business, wealth, values, gain, abundance. You feel shut out from this. You feel absolutely um, um, like, you know, you don't deserve um, wealth and abundance. And you're stuck. Look at that. Indecision. Two of wands. I mean, two of swords. And eight of swords, you're stuck in um, in your mind about it. And what's interesting is that this is such a little scared little girl, um, you know, in the fetal position, holding on to this rabbit. And it's not really a stuck card like, you know, some people depict it as, your hands are tied, but not really, you could, you, you could free yourself. <laughs> You're stuck in a cage, but the door's wide open. You just go out there. This is truly just like, I'm terrified. I'm terrified of, of a new beginning in love, of communicating my um, love and emotions to somebody. And I'm telling you right now, it almost goes hand in hand. Like when you are closed off from love due to heartbreak over and over and over again, it, it translates into all other aspects of your life where you feel like you're not good enough in your job. You're not good enough in your family. You're not good enough. This is all about not good enough, feeling not good enough, and keeping your quills out and keeping everybody out at an arm's length because been there, done that. You've, you've, you feel like only you only manifest heartbreak, and um, and so you're like, screw it. We're done. We're done. I feel like I can't even. I can't. I can't even. <laughs> but then it's you know, if you have your mindset like that in love, then you also have your mindset like that in every other aspect of your life. And this is the finances part of it all. This is business. This is. Um, I mean, it's, it's a new beginning in love, but it's also a new beginning in, in, in exposing of your emotions. And not necessarily love. This is just emotions. This is communication and emotions. And, um, and, and you are terrified. You're, you're just scared. You're scared. And that is, um, it is not allowing you to have that abundance mindset. It's not allowing you to have that abundance mindset mindset it is um, keeping you from what you really want and the only way to do that is to you have to remain you have to move forward with your heart open and in as in with the intent with the assumption that your next dating partner your next um person in love their next um business opportunity that it is going to work out every single time even I don't care how many times you get stepped on every single time yep no nope, this is gonna work out for me no I, I already know it and and it's okay when it doesn't because it gets you into the next level of awareness of consciousness you know pain is growth oh this is absolutely the message pain is growth unless you're stuck. If you look at pain as an opportunity, then all of this, look at this, 
you you want this you want that out of love and it's but you're stuck in your self-deception that you're not good enough you're stuck in that self-deception and so i mean maybe we should take what these have to say literally is that maybe you need to have a beginner mind maybe that's what this is this little card at the end this little glimmer of hope at the end of your um left to right reading i mean to me it's just all energy but um this little glimmer of hope is be is you know try to timidly step out and and re remain open go on a date and not be you know force yourself to be not so guarded and it's okay and it's and if they hurt you that's what um it's 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 okay because what that is showing you is what you still need to work on and that's really hard when people get stomped on and stomped on and stomped on and you, how do you get out of that cycle how do you get out of this stalemate um and into this wish fulfillment and into this um you know having hope and optimism um all over again and so you it's it's so hard, but this is maybe what this card is all about, is you need to work on it and work on it and work on it. Constantly work on it. Surround yourselves with people who are um, positive and who are a part of your tribe, people who are not um, where you have to fit in. It's where you belong, you know? Surround, get rid of the people who make you feel like shit. Um, and then you have to have this beginner's mindset. You have to start over and it's okay to start small. It's okay to be afraid, but when you cloud, when you cloud yourself with defeat, you, you, oh my God, I just looked over and I'm like, <laughs> clouds, when you cloud yourself with defeat in defeat, um, and that's if the female, oh man, <sighs> stork, movement, transition, tiny turns, and then clover is tiny luck. Oh my God. Tiny, small happiness, small happiness, beginner mind, page of steps, small steps, small happiness, transition, movement. You have to move forward. You cannot be stuck. Do not cloud do not cloud yourself any further. Oh man, I don't know if that's helping anybody. Oh, and then look, when you do Ace of Wands, brand new beginning. <laughs> that's totally what this was. This whole, I love you, Calyptus. That's how you feel, or how you feel. Oh my God. Taurus, have a great day. I hope you learned something from this and um, talk to you soon. Love you.